In the name of God, Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. All praise be to Allah and glory be to Him Most High. Alhamdulillah wa subhanallah al ala. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. What is the true religion of God? There are, today there are many sects, religions, philosophy, and cults that claim to be the only way to God. So how can we know which one of these is the correct religion? We can do this simply by examining the central object of worship that they call to, directly or indirectly. False religions all have in common one basic concept of God. That is, they either claim that all people are gods, or that specific men were God, or that nature is God, or that God is a figment of man's imagination. In other words, the basic message of false religion is that God can be worshipped in the form of his creation. False religion basically calls us to the worship of creation. For example, the prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, called people to worship God alone. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 to 13. But those who claim to be his followers today call people to worship Jesus and claim that Jesus was God. Buddha also was a reformer who called people to humanistic principles. Yet he did not claim to be God or that we should worship him. Yet today most Buddhists worship him and they prostrate and bow to idols in his image. You see, by examining the object of central worship, it becomes clear to us which religions are false. God says in the Holy Quran, and I quote, He has commanded that you worship Him only. That is the right religion. But most men do not understand. Quran chapter 12, verse 40. One might say that all religions teach good, so why does it matter which religion we follow? The reply is that all false religions teach the greatest evil, that is, the worship of creation. Our very purpose in life is to worship and serve God alone. God says, quote, I have only created jinns and men that they may worship me. Quran chapter 51 verse 56. Thus, to worship anything other than God is the greatest sin. If a person dies in a state of creation worship, he will not be forgiven. This is called the unforgivable sin. Quran chapter 4, verse 48. Now, of course, if you repent of that sin in this life, the Quran informs us that all sins are forgivable. But this is referring to a person who dies in that state of sin. Now that we've seen the evils of false religion, we need to look at the true religion. The true religion must be built on the worship of God alone. It must be universally understandable and attainable, not confined to any place, people, or time. There cannot be conditions like baptism, or worship of a man as a savior for the believer to enter heaven, or filling out registration forms. Within the central principle of Islam, we find this universality. Whenever a person comes to the realization that Allah is one and distinct from his creation, and submits to Allah, he or she becomes a Muslim and is eligible for paradise. Thus, anyone at any time and any place can become a Muslim. A Muslim, a follower of God's true religion, Islam. By rejecting the worship of people or things and turning to God, Allah, alone. A Muslim is one who submits to Allah in Islam. Muslims worship God alone. Muslims do not worship Abraham or Muhammad or any prophet. In fact, Muhammad was only a messenger from God. The Quran says in chapter 3, verse 144, and I quote, Muhammad is no more than a messenger. Many were the messengers that passed away before him. Again, Quran chapter 3, verse 144. So, the ultimate good is to worship God alone. And the ultimate evil 
is to worship his creation along with or instead of God. I end by saying that the true religion of God is Islam. God says, and I quote, This day have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Quran chapter 5 verse 3. Islam means submission to God alone. You see, the true religion has been given the name Islam by God himself. The true religion cannot be named after or confined by a person or place or nation. Hinduism is named after the people of Hind or India. Christianity is named after Prophet Jesus Christ. Judaism named after the tribe of Judah. Buddhism after Gautama Buddha. Confucianism named after Confucius. Marxism named after Karl Marx, etc., etc., etc. The list goes on. Islam is not named after any place, time, people, nationality, or tribe. God never called the true religion Christianity or Judaism, but he called it Islam. My dear viewer, I say to you, may Allah bless you and guide you, and guide you to the true religion that is Islam. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you from my heart. God bless.